So could your liver actually be causing too much ammonia in your body? Let's talk about that. What is ammonia? Well, in your body, it's a byproduct of protein metabolism. So normally in the, in the digestive tract, you break down protein starting in the stomach, okay? And then it's supposed to turn into amino acids. Those amino acids then are supposed to go through the liver and there's certain byproducts that occur with those amino acids, one being ammonia and the other one is urea. Urea is a less toxic form of ammonia. So normally, if everything's working correctly, this ammonia, which is toxic, should break down into urea and the kidneys should get rid of it. But if there is a problem of ammonia breaking down into urea, uh, the ammonia starts backing up into the blood and that's very toxic. And here's some of the symptoms that can occur. Confusion, mood changes, personality changes, nerve damage, brain dysfunction, and possibly even a coma. So let's talk about all the possible reasons why ammonia could build up in the body. Uh, cirrhosis, that's scar tissue of the liver. This occurs after you get a fatty liver or your liver is inflamed as in hepatitis, and eventually it fills up with scar tissue and it just can't filter anymore. And so that could be one of the causes. Another cause could be hepatitis. Hepatitis causes damage of the liver, and then now you can't filter out this ammonia. Uh, drinking too much alcohol over time will then affect the liver, and that can cause too much ammonia. Also something called carnitine deficiency. Carnitine is a protein that is like a carrier that delivers fat to the mitochondria for energy. So if you have a carnitine deficiency, you can actually build up too much ammonia as well. And by the way, carnitine is in red meat. Dehydration can also spike ammonia in the body. Next one is SIBO. So if there's too much bacteria growing in the small intestine and not the large, that can also cause it because the microbes themselves have the capacity to make ammonia. And if they're overwhelmed with too much protein, this can occur as well. All right, so what is some things that you can do if this happens to you? Number one, start cutting down your protein. Number two, you could take glutamine. I would take L-glutamine. That actually helps break down ammonia. Um, higher potassium foods, as in more vegetables. Chlorophyll, uh, as in wheatgrass juice powder. A probiotic can help as well. Uh, garlic, it's high in sulfur. Cruciferous vegetables. Apple cider vinegar, why? Because the pH of ammonia is 11. It's extremely alkaline. So we want to acidify the body. And celery or celery juice can help detoxify this out of the body. And one last thing I wanna mention, if you're smelling ammonia in your urine when you're peeing, don't assume it's cirrhosis or a fatty liver or hepatitis. It could be you're just dehydrated. It could be you might have uh, SIBO. So it's, it's not always something like this, in which case you just might wanna add more fluid and that could solve the whole thing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?